is going on everybody we are here in the vet headed out on her maiden voyage her maiden camping trip voyage um, we're almost at the location that we're going to be camping at this weekend i just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the gear that i'm bringing i know you guys have said i spent a little too much time going over all that in the past so i won't this time but um, basically just brought you know generic camping stuff got a cooler with some food and some drinks in it got my tent got a big box full of just generic camping supplies lighters knives paracord lanterns all that kind of stuff um i got all my photography gear my gopro that i'm filming on now got some clothes you know pillows and blankets and all that good stuff to keep warm it's supposed to be getting uh be getting pretty cold this weekend i think it's a high of like 62 or something like that tomorrow so should be probably pretty cold at night time brought a couple jackets and stuff whatever i could fit in here it's, it's pretty packed out right now um this thing's got a surprisingly big trunk i actually i just met a guy um out on the road it was a mustang and some kind of little mazda um, and they were they were driving they ended up i found out they were driving together i saw the mustang was what caught my eye and he, did, he didn't want no smoke um but i ended up we ended up both going to the same place i stopped at walmart to get some supplies and i ended up talking to the guys and um they're like damn dude the trunk in that thing because i told them i was going camping this weekend they said was i heading down i guess it's car cruising week or whatever in ocean city maryland and that's where they were headed and i said now i'm actually taking this thing out in the woods this weekend going camping and trying hopefully it won't get it stuck in the mud and they didn't believe me so i opened up and showed all my uh, camping stuff there in the back that you guys can probably see some of it and they're like damn this thing's got a huge trunk so anyway yeah i can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in here um as far as how off-road worthy it is that's what i don't know and that's what we're gonna find out so stay tuned Everybody. This is my camping rig for the weekend. It is a 2010 Chevrolet Corvette. It's a base model. Um, it's got a couple mods done to it. It's got a full exhaust, uh, cooks, long tube headers, mid pipe, and then a Corsa Extreme cat back. It's got a black wing intake and it's got a tune on it. And it's also got an ANA supercharger. Let me show that to you guys real quick. All right, there it is right in there. What? There's no ANA supercharger in there. ANA superchargers, please send me a free supercharger. All jokes aside, uh, this is my rig for the weekend. I got a four wheel drive truck at home, but that's no fun. Anybody can go off-roading with a four wheel drive truck. We're gonna try it with a Corvette, which is sacrilege I know amongst the Corvette community, but we're out here at the farm and there's a trail leading back into the woods me and a couple of my buddies are going camping this weekend, so we'll see if Old Blue here can keep up with a four-wheel drive SUV and a two-wheel drive Ranger this weekend. My guess is probably not. This thing's got like three inches of ground clearance, but um, should be a fun trip in any case. Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a Corvette being stuck in the mud and having to be pulled out on YouTube before. Not saying that's going to happen, but it very well could. So, yeah, this is what we're working with this weekend. Off-road and Corvette.
right, everybody, we are down here. We made it. The vet made it down. Uh, it wasn't too bad at all, honestly. I think she can probably take a little bit more. Uh, there's another spot that I really wanted to go camping at today. It's it's really muddy. Actually, my Ram 1500 got stuck going down there one time, but it's actually not that muddy today. I think the vet could probably make it if if ground clearance wasn't an issue. It's, it's like really bumpy. Um, coming down to the spot that we're at now, let me just show you. Well, you saw in the previous clip. Coming down there, um, it's very like uneven. It's not level at all. Uh, the car doesn't really have an issue with that though, because it's, although it's uneven, it's, um, like your car is like parallel to the ground. The problem with the other spot that I was going to go to is it's very like lumpy. Um, so I think the ground clearance would be an issue and it would probably just be a really rough ride anyway, even if, yeah, I'd, it wouldn't have made it. It would have got stuck. <laughs> so, but anyway, we are down here. I think this is probably where we're going to stay at for the night. And um, let me zoom in a little bit there. So there she is next to the tent. My buddy, he should be here any minute. He's got an inverter in his truck. So I am going a little little glamp this weekend. I'm going to be staying, sleeping on an air mattress. Um, and this little tent, just little Ozark trail tent. So waiting on him to get here so I can blow that up. And then I will go ahead and take everything out of the vet and uh, go ahead and set up my little camp for the night. All right, buddy just arrived. Got the little Ranger Danger. Got some new wheels going on there tomorrow. Just went and took it out to the uh, the spot that I wasn't going to be able to get the vet across. She got across it just fine. Alright, so for tonight's feast, we're going to do steak faritos. I don't know, it's a kind of a fajita, kind of a burrito. But anyway, we got some sirloin steak. Got some lettuce. Red, orange, yellow peppers, some Fiesta Blend cheese. These are little burrito wraps. And then we got some tomatoes and some onion. So we're gonna cut everything up. We're gonna cook everything in this pan right here. Everything, oh, I forgot. We got rice, rice too to go with it, taco rice. So we're gonna cook all the meat and all the vegetables probably leave the uh, well yeah we're gonna, definitely gonna leave the lettuce and probably the tomatoes out we're gonna cook all the onions and peppers here in this little skillet and the meat in a little skillet and then we are going to cook the rice on my little my little mixed fuel burner here I thought you wanted to move to Ireland and cut sheep I mean, I, I do need something. Yeah, I do. But I, I'd like to learn more about like park rangers. So I always thought it would be cool. You need to work at Blackwater. <laughs>
everybody here in a tent um, preparing for night two um, last night it wasn't too bad uh, as far as a cold started it was it was pretty cold in the middle of the night um, but I had three blankets I had two wool blankets I actually got up in the middle of the night to get to the bathroom and um, I got my sleeping bag out of the car because it was getting kind of cold probably around like 3 a.m. or something like that um, so tonight I tried something a little different I didn't bring a ton of um, blankets and stuff to keep me warm because um, I didn't think it was gonna be that cold which I should have been better prepared but this is something that I did one time before when I was camping at work pretty well I actually took you can see it up here um, I took one of my wool blankets and I stuffed it between the tent and then the rain fly and that should uh, most most of your um, air your you know your warm air in here from your body heat <clears throat> escapes out the at the top here through this through this little vent up top even if you have the rain fly on but by putting this blanket in there it actually almost acts like a insulation or a barrier so the air can't really get out or at least it it, it can still get out but it slows it down slows that heat transfer down quite a bit um, also you might not really be able to tell but <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of space in here I'm sleeping on this air mattress and um, the air mattress takes up quite a bit of the floor space um, this tent's probably only about maybe four feet tall three and a half feet tall something like that and this air mattress probably takes about two of those feet so I've only got about um, I'd say maybe 18 inches to two feet of like headroom um, which is fine because smaller space means heat stays trapped in it more so it's not actually a bad thing but um, yeah, it's pretty pretty basic in here. Just got a couple of my, <clears throat> just got a little lantern, uh, my phone, like a bag of stuff, my little portable charger, clothes. Here's one of my wool blankets. <clears throat> here's my sleeping bag. Oh. Here's my sleeping bag over here. I'll probably zip this up tonight and actually use it as a sleeping bag. Last night I just used it as a blanket, but it kept me pretty warm last night. I think it's supposed to be quite a bit colder tonight, so. We'll see how she goes.